Hi viewers and welcome to this little video I'm making here for celebrity um, insight if you like. We all know that magazines actually sell pretty much because people are wanting to know the info or the intel on their celebrities and the people that they follow in the world. So you can, many sites actually have the astrological forecast for your particular fan that you follow um, or celebrity that you follow but this is going to be just a really brief insight into a few people who um, for some reason or another I've, I've decided to look into and I've done some others during the year most of which were pretty accurate I'll put a link to the bot to those beneath the video and you can look back on those if you're interested so for, we're going to be sort of looking at three to four months, maybe up to half a year with each person. And the first celebrity we're going to start off with is Justin Bieber. Now Justin is a Pisces, he's born on March the 1st. And this year his personal year number is actually a three, which is a really good number to be in. It's about blossoming, expansion, personal and business success, and efforts from the past showing fruit. So let's hope... Um, Justin has a better year personally with his little outbreaks of um, naughtiness that he's been going through. So let's see what's ahead for Justin. Judgment, Wheel of Fortune reversed, and the High Priestess. Uh, wow. We'll do an overall energy card too of the Victory card. If we're looking at that, and if any of you guys have already been following the uh, sort of tarot type readings that I do, you'll know that they're that's a really big reading. Three major arcana cards coming out. One of them is reversed in the middle there. And if we're thinking that this is basically three to four months worth, you could say sort of February, March, April, and maybe May with this one as an overall energy. The one at the top of the view there is the Six of Wands. It's known as the successor card but with a degree of arrogance behind it, and also hard work. So you've actually had to do a fair few yards to get to where you're going, but there is definitely this feeling of, I've succeeded, but perhaps at the costs of others, and I don't really care that much. So I think Justin does give that feeling off predominantly around his persona anyhow. Perhaps as he grows up, he will learn to drop that a little bit more. But Pisces are often a really spiritually connected star sign or you know zodiac sign and it feels as though as he comes you know sort of moved out of his teens and moving into his 20s that he may be finding more of the spirituality in his life now the judgment card is often refers to your yeah, judging and it could be that he is in a position of either being judged <laughs> literally he could face some more court issues or perhaps he already is booked in for some, I'm unsure about that. He could also find himself being judged by others, like his fans or his um, followers, and he could find himself judging himself. And the lesson in this card is to um, balance things out and not be so, yeah, a little bit arrogant, not be so arrogant and not be so judgmental about yourself and about others because you're on a journey and you have to listen to the messages to sort of um, be able to uplift them and go in the right direction. But I would say pretty much from now on in for him, he's coming into some very big karmic personal issues in his life. The reversed wheel of fortune can point to really going deep to contemplate messages about relationships and you know are they worth keeping or not and if they are they would have to be completely changed reversed to manage to keep the relationship and it is often karmic related relationships i think him and selena have had a very or do have a very karmic tie and i believe they've broken up currently but whether or not that comes back together i'm unsure selena was in a year nine vibration last year which did kind of show that she would be moving on but he would have to change quite dramatically i think to get her back and whether or not he's ready to do that i'm unsure then coming towards the end of this reading so we're talking april maybe even may this high priestess energy is very much about um 
being connected at the spiritual level, finding yourself and seeking some sort of spiritual connection. And he, he has actually got that going on. I don't think it's something he necessarily puts out there to the public a great deal. But another meaning this card can have is that you can be very sexually attractive to other people and you may find yourself in heightened romantic situations. So he could, he could be coming up for quite a wild time with a woman yet again. Now this could be one partner. He might actually be really attracted to one partner. But if it's not one partner, I dare say he's in the firing line for many. So it could be quite an active year for him. He might need to take court care or caution with that. The reversed wheel of fortune often points to a lot of things in your life and it can also point to your career and making changes in your career. So there could be some disharmony or dissatisfaction around this time, like thinking, is he doing the right thing? Is he going along the right lines? Is there something new that he could bring in? He could be thinking along those lines as well. But I would say for Justin, he's got a really big, powerful first half of 2015 coming in at any rate and hopefully for him the most part of it appears to be positive hopefully he's going to learn some good lessons and uh, just grow into his age and his huge talent with a degree of um, sobriety and knowledge and the gift of passing forward so anyhow guys that's Justin now for the next person we'll look into Chris Brown and see what's going on there so as we look at Chris Brown, he is actually a Taurus and he was born on May the 5th, 1989. And this year for Chris, he's coming into a personal year vibration of nine. Now nines are often difficult years, like Selena Gomez was in a nine last year and she had the whole split up with um, Justin type thing. It's Nines are generally depicted as the end of an era taking personal inventory of your life, what you're doing, where you're going. It can be an uncomfortable year and it's about letting go of the past and heading yourself into making new changes. And one of the other terms that it's also used for a nine, because it's the very end of a cycle, is death. And it doesn't mean death physically, but the death of a lot of your previous thoughts, friends, issues, everything. So I think for Chris he will be going through possibly a big change this year or lots of things influencing him. The latest news I believe were about him and Karushi Tran was that they had also split up, which if you'd seen my previous video I did say that. So let's see what's ahead for Chris. Okay, he's got the Page of Wands reversed, sort of for um, February. March is the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands coming into April, May. And the overall energy card is the Magician reversed. Given that the only major arcana card is this um, Magician and it's reversed for the whole time, and this is the overall um, energy card, I'll go over that first for you to sort of um, give a few interpretational meanings. It sounds as though, you know, the magician's about making higher changes and better use of one's power. But when it's reversed, it can indicate that one is hesitant about making the changes in order to use their power in a more spiritual and more effective manner. Consider, you know, what is he afraid of? And is it that others may not like the new him? he's right they may not however there's no reason not to step into what he really wants and what he's meant to be now when the magician shows in reverse he may be overlooking synchronicities and things that are pointing him in the right direction um, and it's about doubting himself and causing himself problems as a result and Chris seems to have been in this kind of pattern lately he's still not really come out of his whole previous cycle and given that he's in a nine I think he could find 2015 a relatively difficult year he he can this magician if we're thinking of love as well it also he might feel that he's losing his faith and his ability to find attract and keep new love which seems to be the problem at the moment I mean he possibly finds them 
but he hasn't been able to hold on to them for one reason or another. So I think he's going to be addressing a lot of these circumstances and thoughts this year. He, um, it can give him a feeling of, even with his finances and just his general feeling, a feeling of being stuck and a bit of hopelessness or helplessness around his situations and the truth of the matter and where he actually wants to be. So if we come here to the reversed page of wands, the fact again that we've got this reversal, this page of wands can actually be about a younger female who really is not necessarily adding any harmony to the scene. It could be disharmony around him. So there may be someone even within his family or group of friends or someone he meets that turns out to be um, like a thorn in your, in your side. Someone who's not perhaps creating the best energies but in fact they, they can be it's like turning every cloud has a silver lining thing the person who agitates you makes you think about things and makes you make the changes it can also indicate um, news coming because quite often this is about news and creativity but often not what you wanted or what you expected so I'm definitely feeling the messages for Chris right at the moment are not particularly flowing in the right direction as if it feels like a glitch thing around him there don't seem to be any signs of a permanent or positive relationship at the moment there's no other than this reversed page of wands which could be a youngish female there's no one there really specifically gelling. The next card here, the Six of Pentacles, suggests that he does have enough money around him at the moment. Well, that's probably fairly obvious to everyone. But it's also about giving out. You know, what you give in life, you get back. So if he's in a position to actually financially give some or offer a bit of support, even his time, his knowledge, his help, his ability, like go to somewhere... In America where the neighborhoods are really poor and go and help them teach them how to do some dance moves or how to put a few words together in a song you know something like that that's what this card is about it's about giving out and and that actually helps you to move forward and it helps the universe to give back to you so I think Chris could really do with this just spending more time thinking about others and being really helpful and giving in society and hopefully he might do that. When this card turns up, he could very well actually go out and do it. Well, I hope he does. The Three of Wands is often about looking into your future, so thinking, contemplating, possibly a change of residence, possibly shifting, um, wondering about what path he's on, that the whole cycle um, nine that he's in, thinking about the future and where does he go, what does he do. It can be quite a creative card so setting forth new ideas or promotions or um, songs perhaps from him it's possibly even travel he might go on tours and something along those lines but personally wise he's still stuck in a bit of a glitch i think it could be as i say a bit of a naff old year for him at this stage anyhow that's just as we say through to about may now the next person we'll look at, because I know a lot of you are as interested in Rihanna as you are in Chris Brown, so we'll look at Rihanna next. Okay, so for Rihanna, she is born on the 20th of February. Kind of puts her a little bit in a cusp for um, Pisces Aquarius, I think. And her personal year vibration this year is a 3. Now that's actually one of the nicer ones to be in. It's about blossoming, expansion... In both personal and business it's generally considered one of the happy year vibrations so there's a potential there for um, career friends and love and business going quite well so let's see what's ahead for Rihanna for these first few months strength well I think she's had that come out before which doesn't surprise me the king of wands mm. <laughs> the sun and the emperor reversed okay so the strength never surprises me with Rihanna you know she is this kind of very strong independent person she's got three major arcana cards out of four so again I think this could be quite a strong beginning to her year um, 
the king of wands is also possibly a man in her life and he's often a fire sign so could be an Aries, Sagittarius or Leo and this is also an Aries up here this reversed emperor so since this reversed emperor is the overall energy vibration for these first few months for her into 2015 we'll take a look at that it can, when he's the normal way up he is the man of logic and being methodical and doing things under protocol the right way and following rules now he's reversed so it's suggesting that she's not in the mood for doing that at the moment that she could be um just thinking or allowing her heart to take more control than her head so some of her decisions and activities and things that she does might be motivated more by the heart than by the logic at the moment so she might roll rock and roll into 2015 with quite a fair bit of fun and you know that feeling of I don't really care stuff it I couldn't care what I'm doing I'm just going to do what I am because I'm Rihanna and you can all you know take it or leave it there is that feeling but this person too this energy could be a person and he can be an older like fire sign who could actually end up rubbing her the wrong way or being more like a friction board that she has to either listen to or he comes in and he goes nah nah you shouldn't be doing that you've got to stop this so there could be someone around her that either is creating a bit of friction or in fact trying to possibly keep her on the right line and getting her to use her um, thinking as well as just her heart now it's interesting that he sits more or less over the top of this this king of wands we'll get to him in a minute um, strength this is again uh, it's a very karmic card there's the cycle of life symbol up here so it's a really quite strong powerful karmic period that she's in she has the ability to have the strength but she also must manage it the right way that's kind of what he's saying isn't it she needs to make sure she doesn't use her power to abuse situations or people because these you know these top celebrities they do hold an amazing amount of power across many people especially our youngsters on the planet who you know follow them or follow the trends or the things that they're doing or their behavior so for Rihanna now it would pay for her to make sure she does balance her behavior a bit and offer out a side of her that shows positivity and if anything crops up for her that she deals with it in a really positive adult manner that people look upon her and go wow that was really impressive actually and she's handled that really really well so this card could go two ways it could show you that she has the potential to do that or it could say that she is actually overusing her power in the wrong manner and since he's here suggesting it I'm not sure which way it'll go let's look at this king of wands for her he often represents Sagittarius perhaps more than the other fire signs so I think there is a man around her and there's a man in her life at the moment or there will be and she might become quite attracted to him they would probably get on really well and I think maybe this is where this whole energy thing is coming from this you know I don't care I'm going to do what I fancy um, she's in that year of three lots of career friends love happiness success yeah I think he plays a part I wonder who he could be I wonder if it's uh, who would know whether it's any of her old flames Chris or um, Drake but as we come to this the sun it's it's again about um, it's a really positive major arcane of big changes big energies big karmic stuff and often the sun indicates look at this what's sitting here child can ind indicate high times of fertility in particular it's quite a blessed card it's got good positive energies coming in it can be really creative she could go through a period of being quite creative um, in herself or in her music career yeah it's um going to be interesting for her if she doesn't want a child she would have to watch out keep keep watch of that because she could end up becoming a parent or you know um, conceiving a child around about this time so that's Rihanna's reading guys it's pretty bubbly and positive the next person we will look at for something different is Katy Perry 
Okay, so Katie, she's an amazing pr producer of music. She's so talented, as are all of the people, really, that we're doing these um, looking into in their own way. They've all got amazing, obviously, global talents. Katie is a Scorpio, born on October 25th in 1984. This year she moves into a year seven cycle. Now sevens are a bit more of a reclusive year and can be a bit difficult to work with. It's about reflection, self-analysis, going in a, um, you might shed people or behaviours that don't suit you anymore and you sometimes in this year people have operations or counselling or therapy. Now, I'm not sure what the situation is between her and John Mayer, but I, I've had a sort of a look at his birth dates and charts. He was born on October the 16th, he's a Libra, and he is also in a personal year 7 as well. Now those two, interestingly enough, suit each other quite well. They could be a match that could work. Katie, as the Scorpio, is more likely to be tolerant and accepting of John Mayer because that's what's called a 212 love relationship and that comes from Linda Goodman's sun sign book that she wrote many many years ago They're it says Libra has lessons to learn from Scorpio Scorpio is tolerant of their shortcomings and their different outlooks so that's why they could work as a partnership so let's see what Katie has coming okay two sevens and she's in a personal year seven. And the hermit. Well, well, after just talking about the fact that she's in a year seven cycle, and that means that going in a, you know, going spiritual a bit, trying to find out who you are, what you want, the hermit is also considered the spiritual analysis sign. It's about spending time on your own, evaluating your psyche, seeing where you're going. Um... Yeah, well it's kind of not a wildly exciting, upbeat reading for Katie, unfortunately. The seven, we'll start up here, only major arcana card and it's reversed, so it really does just talk about the fact that it's a particularly spiritual card and it even indicates um, going back to in the Christian church of all things and I believe her father is a pastor so she's been brought up a particular Particularly, and you know, in a particularly religious sense, so some of that will still be around Katie, and she might be evaluating: is that the path she wants to follow? You know, is that who she is? Does she realign back with that? There will be some sort of form of evaluation this year going on for her, and especially in the first half of the year, since this is what we're looking at. Um, if we look at it from a love perspective, it can actually indicate that a past love could be rekindled. Now that could be the whole John Mayer thing, or it could be someone else. Oh, whatever. Um, I guess it's really hard when you're, again, in that public eye so much to find a partner who wants you for you and can also be themselves individually as well. I think that's how it must become really, really difficult that neither of you outbalance or outweigh the other. And again, that's why I think the whole John Mayer thing might be quite good. But this Seven of Cups is often about being offered various things. So there could be quite a few things on offer for her in many different areas. It could be career, romance, um, money, investments, and it could be religious thoughts and speculations. But only some of them will be worthwhile her pursuing and only some of them are good for her. A lot of them are wrong, the wrong options, so she has to be really careful about which one she takes. Um, and then if we move to this card here, which is the Seven of Swords, it's generally known a little bit as the watching your back. You've got to watch what's going on behind you as if someone isn't being completely honest and they're being dishonest to you and about you and it's someone within your close circle which is a disappointment and it may even make her feel going within a little bit more again so I'm not sure what that could be or who but it's coming up sort of March area and then she gets the reversed page of cups as well now often the cups relate to love and propositions coming in but when it's reversed it generally indicates a little bit of a glitch going on around that 
if we talk about it in terms of, of love, it actually suggests that she could have her heart set on someone specific who literally isn't making themselves truly available to her, which would be a shame. Um, but if it talks about other perspectives, it tells you it's a time to dream and to enjoy life and to play a little bit at the same time, you know, to have that fun. And even in work, it says... You're appreciated in your work, but don't thumb your nose at it. You know, know that you've still got to work to get where you're going, to keep your fan base, I guess, and to keep your success. So, that's Katie. Shall we have a look and see if John Mayers match up at all or show any similarities? So here we have John Mayers, a look into the beginning of his 2015, and I've already said that he is in a year 7 vibration. And that he is a Libra, born on October the 16th. And that he is actually quite a good match for her, if they could actually get it together. He tends to give signs, though, of not wanting to settle down. Whether or not he's reached the right age for that. Um, because, let's face it, most everyone does eventually just want a nice partner that they can share their lives with and all their experiences and perhaps have a family with. So let's have a look. Okay. Temperance, the Empress, and the Three of Hearts, and Justice reversed. Well, he's got a pretty big beginning to his year as well. We've got three major arcanas, two of which are reversed, and the Three of Hearts, which is also reversed. He's a bit, he's a complex guy to try and get a grasp on here, to get a feeling for. Okay, so as I was saying, he's a bit of a... Um, a difficult guy to read. This is quite an intense set of cards in many ways because we've got two major arcana cards reversed and even this one here at the end this sort of indicates sorrow around relationships. It doesn't necessarily have to be rom romantic relationships, it can be any different number of types of relationships. But if we start here at the Justice card it's often about karma, cause and law and effect. And it's sometimes about other people's actions in your life as well, so not just about yourself. If we're looking at relationships, um, it could say that he might be feeling something is unjust around a relationship or something is not quite rolling the way he would expect even in his own life at the moment. That could be business dealings, um, personal, it could be public, anything along those lines. Then as we move... Um, and we, we can also think he might feel he's ready for love and partnering up, but somehow in his own soul or emotional capacity, he's still not perhaps quite delivering what would be expected from, say, a partner or even perhaps what society would expect. So I think he tries, but yeah, he's, he's obviously and previously not been ready to settle down at all. So if we move to the temperance, this again is about needing to try various methods in your life to get something to work. So looking at different varieties and trying to make things work, putting in the effort. But you get the feeling of things possibly still slipping away a little bit as if he can't get a grasp on it or a grip. There's something that he can't make connect. You know, when you think of join the dots, it's a little bit like missing that middle set of dots that you can't connect to get to the other side. It's got that feeling to it. Um, if we come here and look at this one, this the Empress is, as if any of you have been following the readings, you'll know that she is a beautiful, attractive woman who's nurturing, loving, sexually attractive, in a fertile period in her life as well. There'll be great attraction here. Possibly he will be involved with a woman, it would appear. And this gives great energy and positivity and, you know, connection and love and very strong feeling coming in. But this card sitting right over the top of it, still not, maybe not able to bond and get that connection flowing the way both parties wanted to. And then as we look at the end of this time period, what did we say, April, May, we get this three of swords turning up. And I often say Three of Cups by accident, but only because I think it's always to do with relationships. 
It really is exactly how it looks. It's the card of disappointment, misunderstandings, can be loss of relationships that have um, come to an end or about to end when you were sure that they were going to work and you can't really understand why. It can also be a sign of anxiety creeping in and even possibly needing to go and see a doctor to um, just make sure that your health's up to standard and not being let to run too low. So that would appear to be his reading for the next few months. Um, again, quite a lot going on for him. Not exactly sure what this, this final outcome here would appear that things may not roll smoothly with whoever he ends up with in the interim. So I guess we'll have to keep an eye on that one, won't we? So we'll take one last look here and we'll do a quick look at Johnny Depp because he has... Um, kind of had a big change in his life in the last year or two I guess can't remember how long with his new partner who he's engaged to but would appear there's talk and rumour of them perhaps not seeing eye to eye so he was born on June the 9th in 1963 and this year he's in a year 5 which is independence, obstacles can slip away, hard work's rewarded, travel adventure, new friends, possibly new employment possibilities change of house maybe so once again it's one of these really good numbering systems to be in so let's see what crops up because the last lot of um, news I read they weren't in a particularly happy spot so we'll see what happens here the star temperance oops the king of wands and the queen of swords Two major arcanas facing the right way up. Um, the King of Wands could be himself or similar type of energy he emanates. And this up here, the overall, the Queen of Swords. So the overall energy could be a woman who is kind of um, dominating perhaps the scene or the energies or perhaps being the one that places the rules and boundaries and jurisdictions across. Upon him and it could be someone who's quite strong willed um, intelligent uses words a lot so it could be the current partner that he's with that's kind of setting the scene but this in particular great positive card to come out it signals prosperity success going forward in the right energies, having support systems, network systems around you in place that are helping. When this one turns up, it often um, reduces any negative impact around you anyhow. So that's quite a nice energy for him to be starting off the year with, or, you know, February. Feels as though maybe he's balancing himself a little bit better. Then we come to this temperance and she sits right over the temperance and we've talked before this is the card of bringing in the balance of needing to perhaps listen to this um, harmonizing yourself more making sure you're not doing too much of one thing in an area especially um, things like drugs or wrong type of foods or alcohol so balancing your emotions your physical life your spiritual life as well enriching that a little bit more finding that spirituality, connecting. There's quite a lot of that possibly going on for him around about this time. And then this one over here is often the sign of a successful entrepreneur, someone who has money, who has creative thought ability, who feels fairly well established and fairly well settled. So in fact, you'd have to say that his reading is showing up quite good overall so we'll have to keep an eye on that as well and see where where he's headed this year see what comes up for him in the first half of the year and how the relationship goes so guys that's probably all I've got time for now this video has gone on longer than I anticipated if any of you particularly want someone looked at you know from a positive perspective Drop me a comment below and um, if I get time at some point I can see if I can look into them for you. So I hope you've enjoyed that. These are kind of fairly um, non-evasive, just little readings for people because as I said in the beginning, most everyone loves to hear about their fans that they follow and is sort of interested in what goes on around them. So thanks guys and kia kaha and much aroha.